take a moment and adjust your body where you're sitting or lying and just make yourself a little bit more comfortable. And just be still. And as you rest, just allow your body to settle in and get a little more comfortable. Just observe your body for the next few moments without trying. Just observe and notice how your body feels. Now, just to relax a little bit more, take a few long, slow, deep breaths. Breathing in and filling your belly with air. And then exhale a long, slow exhale, completely emptying your lungs. So do that just a few more times. Deep breath in. Long exhale. And another deep breath in, filling your lungs. And a long, slow exhale. And one more deep breath in. and a long exhale. And just notice that as you do that deep breathing from your belly, that your whole body just seems to relax a little bit more, a little bit more calm, a little bit more peace. Now, in this meditation, we're going to build a sense of personal space and personal boundary. And we're going to build a sense of control over personal space and personal boundary. To begin with, simply think about the concept of empathy. Empathy is how we feel what other people are feeling. through words that we hear, facial expressions, tones of voice, body language. One person picks up the emotional state of the other person. As well, there is this phenomenon, this nonverbal gut response phenomenon that also happens between people where we feel what other people are feeling in a mechanism that is beyond words. When you think about it, empathy is really the basis for any relationship at all. It is how we connect with those that we love. It's how we know that we're loved by those that love us. So empathy is a good thing. But what happens when people cross lines and violate our space or take advantage of our generosity? Then that same mechanism of empathy is being abused and starts to become harmful to the person with empathy. And so we also have this capacity to create and maintain a personal space and a personal boundary. Some people that have had difficult experiences through their life or difficult and dysfunctional families never had the opportunity to learn and practice healthy and respectful boundaries and personal space. And so this meditation is going to be helpful to learn to create personal boundaries and maintain personal boundaries and sense 
when boundaries are being violated. The skill of creating and maintaining healthy boundaries really boils down to recognizing when we feel the need to defend and protect ourselves from violation. In order to do that, we need to be open to collect of the available information that is inside our heart and soul and gut. And so take a moment just now as you're listening to my voice and kind of go inside and listen to your heart and soul and gut. You'll find that there's information there about the level or the degree of emotional, psychological, and spiritual safety that you're experiencing right at this moment. You're experiencing that information coming from inside yourself right at this moment. The information may be about a relationship that you experienced in the recent past or the distant past that is problematic. But I want you to notice that you're experiencing that information right now. And see if you notice what that information is inviting you to do by way of protecting yourself, defending yourself against violation or intrusion. You may notice that that information coming from within you is inviting you to take a step back or is inviting you to reach out with your arms and create a defensive signal, a protective signal. So just in your imagination, what I would like you to do is stretch out your arms, just in your imagination, stretch out your arms and hold your hands up in the universal signal of stop. So your arms are straight out in front of you and your hands are both in the palms facing out universal signal for stop. And just as you're doing that in your imagination, notice what that feels like in your emotions and in your body. Good. Now, again, in your imagination, what I would like you to do is move your arms around Still with your arms fully outstretched, move your arms around to create as much of a circle around you as feels comfortable. So from straight out in front of you to both sides of you, behind you as far as you can reach, arms above you and arms reaching down. All with your palms outstretched, facing away from you. And in your imagination, imagine that your fingers, your fingers create a trail of light behind you. And so as you move your arms, and move your hands in front of you and beside you and above you and below you. You're creating, you're drawing with light. And so as you move your arms all around, you're creating a bubble of bright, warm light. And this circle of light or this sphere of light is an energetic protective shield 
that stops others who aren't safe from intruding into your personal bubble and hurting or violating you. And so think for a moment of a person that you have a relationship or had a relationship with that you feel in your heart and soul and gut that you just need to protect and defend yourself against. And imagine that as that person approaches you in your imagination that this circle or sphere of energetic protective light protects you from them and the person is held back by the energetic circle of light. And just notice the new feeling that comes over you when you recognize that the space that you created has created protection for you. Now, of course, there's other people in your life who aren't harmful, whether intentionally or not. There's other people in your life that you love and you care for and you want to have a close relationship with. And so as you are watching this energetic protective sphere of light around you that you've created, Notice also that you have the power in your hands to open it and to allow trusted family members, friends, pets, thoughts that make you feel safe. Allow those things to come in to your bubble, to your boundary. Notice that you have the power and the control to allow in who you want to allow in and to defend against who you want to defend against. You have that power. Just notice the feeling that you feel when you notice that power. Just notice that you are entitled to a positive, safe, encouraging space for yourself and within yourself. If you wish, you can also allow in to your special space a caring creator who wishes you love and goodness and who is the ultimate source of safety and protection. You can notice that whenever you feel threatened or unsafe, you can visualize this circle of energetic light surrounding you and the disturbances can be kept and maintained on the outside. You can still be kind to everyone but you decide who feels safe enough for you to allow inside your space and close to your heart. Again, just notice that power and that control. Just notice the flexibility that you feel to let in who you let in and keep out or keep at a distance those you want to keep at a distance. Notice that this protective energetic circle that you've created with your fingers also can protect you from emotions that are invalid or inaccurate emotions. For example, invalid guilt feelings. Certainly, 
If we step on somebody's toe, we should feel guilty for hurting them. But lots of times people feel guilty when there is no specific reason for their guilt. Just a vague sense of, I feel like I've done something wrong. So notice that a feeling like that can be kept outside the energetic protective bubble. Notice also that the feeling of shame, the feeling that there's something wrong with me when there isn't strong and concrete evidence of something wrong, is also a feeling that can be kept outside the energetic bubble, that you can defend and protect yourself against those kinds of toxic emotions. So again, just notice that power and control to be able to defend and protect against emotions that aren't valid or accurate or life-giving. And on the other hand, you can open the energetic circle of light to allow positive and constructive and life-giving emotions in. Joy you can allow in. Love, you can allow in. Happiness, you can allow in. So just notice the power and control that you have over what comes in to your boundary and what you can defend and protect against with your boundary. Take a moment or two and just enjoy that feeling. You have this tool and this resource to protect yourself, to defend yourself, and, and you can be pleased and proud of your ability to defend and to protect yourself. Now, if you're listening to this meditation on your way to sleep at the end of the day, then just allow yourself to drift off now and have a beautiful restful sleep. If you're listening to this meditation during the day, then just notice the calm and restful feeling that you're feeling inside, a state of relaxation, and take that state of relaxation with you for the rest of your day.